This is our first DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own toothpaste. This is one that I use personally. It's sad to say that I didn't start it earlier. If you start when you're a young age, it'll help keep you from getting um, a lot of cavities and bacteria in your mouth, which cause cavities and plaque buildup. Um, I had an unfortunate experience with a dentist that was no longer in practice and have a lot of cavities now and teeth that are going bad because of it. But this is good mouth hygiene. All the products in here, the baking soda, obviously we all heard the studies about anti-cancers. They are, peppermint is good also for the fresh breath and very many good things about um, coconut oil for you. It's very health beneficial. Hey, you know what's funny? What? We're drinking soda and making some soup. Well, this will help cleanse the sugars from our mouth and the ac acidic from the acid acid to help balance up the But still, it's kind of fun. Okay, pardon the looks of my little personal container, but you're going to need um, coconut oil, salt, which is also good for you. If you have a mother that used to make you gargle with salt water, you'll understand. Peppermint oil for fresh breath and baking soda as a soft, mild abrasive. What you're going to do is... Coconut oil. How much exactly? However big your container is. Well, you might want to add a little bit less depending on what consistency you want. You want it to be a paste consistency when you're through mixing it all up. And that's a little bit more. That's good. Right. That's good. And right there. Question. Uh, huh? What does coconut oil taste? This coconut oil actually tastes and smells. Oh like my gosh, coconut. So it's like, okay, 100% organic, extra virgin coconut oil, and it looks like this. You can get it in a liquid form, but the solid form is the best. You can usually get it in any of your grocery stores. Okay, I know I'm not the only child that has had this, but has anybody else had coconut muffins before? That's exactly what it smells like. Okay, so about delicious. one to two teaspoons of baking soda. Let me try and mix it up and see what the consistency looks like. Hang on, sippy sippy break. Sippy sippy? Yeah. This is for you, graveyard girl. Ready? Come on. Whoever does that. I don't flip my head back. It's a pretty cool off me to swallow. Maybe you're not sippy sippy if you don't flip your head back. Well, I'm so freaking sorry. I don't want to lose okay, my horn. Three teaspoons full. I think it's three teaspoons is a little bit much. No, I said it has to be a paste consistency. Yeah. It's a cat. I don't know where the cat's box. Do you have permission to go find another cat? Yes, you have permission to go find a cat. Yeah. And the box Okay, it's still pretty mushy, like mashed potatoes. You want to add a little bit more. So this is four. Let's go for five. I'll just have extra and keep it wrapped up in the fridge. It'll keep very well. There we go. It's trying to get that. I found a kitty! Yay! Which one? Pumpkin! Pumpkin. Yay! Pumpkin Pie is going to be joining us. Okay. A really oh, and there's turkey. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you doing? I know he's curled in the thing. I have something for him to eat. He's a little okay. I know. It's very organic. It won't hurt. <laughs> he has one of your Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, turkey. Mmm, turkey pie. Okay. It looks like a very thick, stiff frosting. I'm going to add right, in. And we have pumpkin pie. Or turkey pie. One of these little packets of salt. The whole thing. Because you're not eating it, you're just brushing your teeth with it, okay? You can swallow it if you have to. In a pinch, it won't kill you. If, and the toothpaste they have out there nowadays have contains fluoride in there, and you know how I feel about fluoride. I am not for fluoride. Okay, um, we're going to add two drops. Hello, turkey. <laughs> you should put uh, something in here. Peppermint oil. You need to do the Chubby Bunny Challenge. 
three. I'm gonna put three in this. It has so many. Ooh, smells like candy cane. We sell. It does. It smells like Christmas. Oh my gosh. Coconut candy cane. Yum. Yummy. Pardon the chairs moving in the background. My sister is out there, so. The way my girl is out there. Okay. You want to take a little, put your finger in there, dip it, and then taste it and tell the audience what it tastes like? <laughs> this is not for you. I think I just like, oh, I think I just like hot cocoa with a hint of coconut and mint. Okay. Like so, so once you're done, you take and scoop. Oh, I just made enough. That's awesome. So see, you might think you're making too much, but when you have your container, it fills in nicely. Warning, if you're going to be on a vacation trip, make sure you get a watertight container to put the stuff in because it will liquefy. And also, everything in your makeup also, case will get covered in coconut oil. Don't leave it in a Ziploc baggie in the sun like I did in my bag. Put it in like a freezer bag or a cold bag with all your food in it because I didn't do that. And it got all over inside of the plastic bag. And as soon as it got out, all over my clothes. I didn't want that. And it was... A butt to get out of the clothing. Okay, now, you can either use a spatula. This is perfect for mine. You just snap your lid on there, and I keep it in a little bowl with a napkin underneath to keep it nice. You can also keep it in the refrigerator, but it'll be very hard. So if you make a large batch, divide it up, put some in the refrigerator, it'll last you for months. Very organic, very healthy for your brain. No fluoride to kill you there. Um, if you don't believe me, go online and read <laughs> the studies about the dangers of fluoride. This, all you do is just for the next couple of days, take your toothbrush, scoop it out, and then when you're finally through using most of it, you can pop it in the dishwasher. Will not hurt anything. If you do have a septic system, I do recommend wiping it out with a napkin before you put it in your washing your dishwasher or washing it in your sink. Okay. Oil is not good for the septic system. No, it's not good for the septic system. Um, any last words before we close this DIY? Okay. Oh, another fun thing to know. If you have an upset tummy and you or have lot of, lots of gas bubbles in your tummy, another benefit of having baking soda, a lot of people get grossed out when I do this, you can just take a little bit in your skin and eat it. It's very good for you. Don't do that upset out of the stomach, Tara! Ew! Anyway, wash it down and it helps you get rid of the bubbles because you burp it out. I was thinking about maybe we could do some Legend of Zelda DIY cute little geek craft thing and Minecraft ones because I found some good little bottles of Minecraft um we could do that. things like that. We'll think about that. And if you have any other DIYs you want to see us try on TV, whether or on video, whether they're on Pinterest or whether they're own DIYs you want to see us do, leave us a comment down below. Give or challenge us. or challenge us. Give us a thumbs up. And if we get so many likes the hundredth person to like us will get a little piggy bank with our our shop's name on it on the side. And we'll mail it to you free so I can just put your name and address in a private message to me and I'll get it sent out to you. So the hundredth person to comment on this video will get a free little steampunk collection. These are like. These are like Well, it'll be easy. I'm sorry. It is the first, the first hundredth person to comment on this video. I so. how to do that then. <laughs> Our next DIY is we're going to show you how to do an emergency uh, five-gallon bucket of laundry soap in a pinch. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. And go.